Hey, good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a great day so far. I've got a 2011 Kia Sedona, the minivan, and it's got 180,000 miles on it just about. Customer's complaint is they smell gas, fuel, and they could smell it on the inside of the car. Okay. Now, we can learn a couple of things right off the bat, just from what she said. Can smell gas inside the car. Okay, do we have a gas tank inside the car? No. Do we have fuel lines running inside the car? No. So how can we smell gas inside the car? Why do we smell gas inside the car? Because of this. These things, right here. The key is on, I have the fans off, but watch this. AC is on, Recirc is not on. And coming through these vents, I smell fuel. I just had it running. Now, I'm going to scan it for codes, but I'm going to explain that in a second. Let me scan it for codes first. All right, so I already pulled it up. I did not do a scan yet. Move that. Let me do a code scan real quick. So let me let it go through this process of doing the code scan. And then what I'm going to do, actually, I really don't need to. Engine and transmission is enough. Anti-lock, brake warning, yeah. So I'm not really worried about that. Actually, I'm going to skip out of this. There's no real reason to go through the whole thing. But it's got no engine codes. So what does that tell me? It tells me most likely it's not a vapor line leaking. If this thing had integrity issues with, say, the top of the tank having a pinhole from rust or a fuel line having a mouse that chewed through it, like a vapor line, you'd probably have a code. Nine times out of ten, you'll have a code. I have no codes. So why am I smelling fuel coming through the vents? Because it's not on recirculate. So what it's doing is it's drawing air from on top, the cowl. It's drawing that air in, so the fuel smell has to be under the hood. Okay. Where could that be coming from? Any number of possibilities. But I'm going to say it's a high pressure leak in other words it's on, or it's on the pressure side is where the leak is it's not on the the um vapor side because like i said more than likely it would set a code you kind of have to do a little bit of investigation to figure this out but it's really it's not that difficult if you think about it so let's go out under the hood and let's see if we can't figure out what's going on just by taking a quick look now i already did i know it's i know it's wrong but i'm going to show you what i went through so here's the vehicle here, and there's our little V6. I don't even know what this is, if it's a 27, it's probably a 27. And I could smell fuel. I definitely smell fuel. It's not super strong, but I definitely smell it. But where is it coming from? What you're going to want to do is you want to check the fuel lines. And you want to check around just to see like where the fuel injectors are and stuff like that. Now, obviously, a lot of this is covered by the intake manifold. So let's see what we can see by just poking around. So right here, that's your fuel line going in. I believe this is a returnless system, so I don't think this thing has a return. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Now, if we look down, let's see if I could see it from here. You could just see the base of the injector there. It's green. I don't see anything. It looks okay. Now let's see. Can I take this little cover off here? Okay, that pops off. So now if you look, those injectors look all fine. Now one thing I don't like, and I never have liked, this thing has the plastic fuel rail. Never been a fan of that. Just, I, I don't see it lasting. So let's come over here and let's look inside there. All right, so there, see that? See the stains? Let's see if we can focus in on that. There's a leak right there. That's a fuel leak. See that like um, that tarnished look? That's from fuel that's getting overheated on top of the manifold. So there's a slow leak right there where's it leaking from i don't know it could be the rail it could be the rail it's leaking. let me try to aim this light a little better 
because if you look, it's definitely on top of the retaining clip there, and it's on top of the rail. So exactly where, I don't know. Okay, hang on one second, because I got a customer that just pulled up. All right, so now what I did was I started it up. I want to see if I can't focus in on that injector and actually see if I can see something leaking. Because it could, it could be from the rail. I mean, the rail could have a hairline crack in it, something. But I don't know. So let's take a look and see if we can't see what's going on. I'm going to try to focus in. Sometimes it's a little difficult, but let's see what we got. Now, oh, uh, being close to the motor, you may all only hear engine noises, so I'm really not going to speak, but I'm going to try not to. But you, that may be all you hear. So let's see what happens. can't really see anything and the reason that fuel is on the top of the injector is probably because it's wicking to the top by the venture guess. I'm going to be willing to bet it's either the injector itself or the o-ring but there again it could be the rail you just never know so now to get to that you gotta pull the intake off so I gotta make sure the customer wants to commit to doing this right now because once I do, it's disabled. And if I pull it apart and find a rail is cracked, they're not getting the car back because I'm not just gonna put it back together so they can drive it. So then they can come back and for me to put a rail on it. If that rail is cracked, we're getting a rail. So, let me shut this down. Okay, so I shut it down. And let me see what the customer has to say, see what they wanna do. But uh, anyway, I figured I'd show you that, maybe lead you on a little diagnostic quest here, try to figure out you know where is the smell coming from when you're dealing with a fuel smell so obviously like i said if it's on the vapor side you would probably have a check engine light for some kind of a leak more than likely the pressure side really doesn't have that that's obviously a pressure side leak so okay hope you got something out of that video if you did hit that like button if you could please subscribe all right guys have a great day keep wrenching